Run into cover four spammers that drive you nuts? Use these simple tactics to go ahead and open up your scheme and get more first downs. Coming up next. This is Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTube that actually gives you full games of all the tips and schemes I post on my channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. Guys, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and also that notification icon so you can never miss an upload. All right, so uh, I want to talk about um, a defensive strategy that is very popular online. Uh, a lot of uh, people use it online, and it's a very difficult defense to stop. And it, they, it was more, uh, it was more intensely used in the very beginning, of the, uh, when the game dropped in 2019, and then actually went away, and then came back again. Uh, it is uh, utilizing uh, the cover four drop show two, or basically the cover four drop. Uh, this particular defensive strategy is very effective against the run, uh, and it, it really will uh, cause a lot of problems for someone that's actually impatient that wants to go ahead and try to go ahead and move their ball. And, and, and pass the ball along down the field. Now, I want to sh I want to share with you a couple different techniques that you can use to go ahead and open up your uh, opponent's uh, uh, defense a little bit and force them to actually go ahead and make uh, make more alterizations and make more adjustments to defense. Now. One of the actual uh, concepts in the game that you can utilize against your opponent is simply scrambling with your quarterback. Now, what I like about using a boot play and play action boot, play, play action sprint, or play action read is that uh, what it will do is it actually will open up the path of the running lanes for you with, with your quarterback. So we just use play action read as our base play. Now, a lot of people online basically what they do is they base the line, they'll pinch your line down, spread, and then actually shade down, and then use the guy over the middle. And what this is going to do is it's going to force your opponent to go ahead and play routes over the middle. Now, uh, what I like to do just to open up the running, uh, open up the game a little bit uh, against this guy is I'm going to go ahead and rush my quarterback. Now the key of this particular run is that you want to run inside the tackles. You want to run inside, not to the outside because these guys are actually playing as you can see uh, in the, the black routes, they're playing contains. So they're going to naturally take out that, that, that roll out to the right or to the left. So the key to this is that when the ball is snapped, you want to go ahead and hold the right trigger button uh, to basically go ahead and control the animation. Let your guy, quarterback set, and then you want to go ahead and take off and take a, uh, take a, a, uh, a, lead, or a run like that. So we'll just run this a couple times. So this is going to be what the defense is set up. Snap the ball. We're going to hold it. And as you can see, we're going to go ahead and take off. Another key thing, too, is you want to go and slide. You slide animate, uh, do the slide animation. You're going to hold both triggers and then the, uh, the square button on PlayStation 4. Now, what's cool about this strategy, too, is that you can go ahead and, and take some of those, uh, a lot of routes and do crossing concepts. And this will give you an extra blocker right up the middle or give you a passing opportunity, too, if he bites down. So it is going to cause a dilemma against your opponent. So naturally, what are the, the next adjustment most most players are going to do is they'll still run the same defense. They'll scrunch the line down, but they're going to spy out their defensive tackle, and that's going to cause you some problems with this particular opportunity because now you've got a spy that's actually going to go and bottle you up. If you try to go run up the middle, you're going to see that that guy is right up the middle, and he's actually going to go ahead and put you guys in contain. So. Now you're in a situation where if you see a spy, you know he's not rushing less than two, and you're going to get a lot of a lot of pancakes because now you can jump into the next play. So one of the deadliest plays uh, against uh, cover four drop uh, is going to be a drop play. Uh, and if your opponent is actually going ahead and setting up the drop like this, where he's trying to take away that that running running lane. Uh, if you just go ahead and use a draw play, you're going to basically get a little bit better. Now, that was a QB draw. So he's going to have all of his guys in a box. But now you can see him. You're going to get a tremendous push up the middle with the draw play. So with the draw play, you're going to get more of a push up the middle. You can get a good 10-yard gainer. So that's, that's another thing you can jump into that's a part of the chess match. Now, another concept to go ahead and beat uh, a cover four drop defense is a Mills concept. Now, uh, not all Mills is going to work the same. Uh, you basically want to go ahead and make sure that you have uh, some kind of a deep in route. Now, Mills, doesn't it doesn't have to be the deep in route, but you want to have something like that to uh, open, up your, open up the play for yourself. So building off the play action read, 
and what we want to do is try to attack our opponent in the flat. So you could do so by going ahead and um, just protecting uh, your guys, uh, actually going ahead and doing a drag mount with, with your tight end, do an in route that's going to be hot routed, and then we're going to go ahead and just take our guy and actually put him on a, a seam route. Now, what this is going to do is it's going to mess up the matching assignments um, of the computer. It's not the, the the computer's not really going to know what to do uh, with these matching assignments. And you're going to see that the running back is going to get wide open um, in this play. And because you pretty much have all time, all the time in the world to go ahead and get the get the play off, you can attack your opponent with this with a seam combination. So we're going to go ahead and drag up our tight end, do a deep in route with Beasley, and then with Elliot, we're going to go ahead and put him in a streak route. And what's going to happen is you're going to have a big play opportunity to take the ball down the middle of the field. So guys, this is basically a few different techniques that you can use. Um, I would really start harassing my opponent by actually running with the quarterback on the inside. If he drops his guy back into uh, into a spy off the off, off uh, the de the offensive line or defensive line, you can easily just go ahead and just go into to draw plays. He's, he's not going to have enough blockers. You're going to get a, you get a lot of pancake blocks off the top, and then you can start attacking him the same. So there's just going to be a couple different tactics that you can use against your opponent uh, if they do spam a lot of cover four. The seam route by the by the running back, actually, if he jumps into other types of defenses, is going to get even more wide open. So this is another technique where you really get to expose your opponent for some big plays with the running back. If you do like these tips, make sure you hit the like button. And once again, my subscribers, thank you for your support. Until next time.